I should have did that before we started. <laughs> Leave it to me. But no, so anyway, it's my first time like performing out here. Like really, it's from in California. Okay. Okay, so then I left, you know, college, Arkansas, I came out here. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I'm like, I got to do this shit. Mm -hmm. So I had my friend to come with me. We working together at, at this, we working for Blue Cross through the temp service. You know what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, yeah, y'all in here. So, yes, we getting that <laughs> weekly check. Nothing yeah. to be that weekly check. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm so nervous. I had her to drive me there, you know. And it was Michael Call your night. Oh, you know still. what I'm saying? Yeah. I would go to this little open mic shit and you know, he gave me a chance and I thought I was a superstar, you know what I'm saying? Right, <laughs> like right. Saying, that's what I was. Fresh out the gate. Right. Look at that. <laughs> right, 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 right. Coming out like I'm about to blow. So anyway. Mm -hmm. We get there. I'm so nervous. I throw up. <laughs> what? What? Before the show. Before the show. Wow. Yeah. So my friend, like, you okay? I'm like, I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like one of them in the club throw up. It's like, right. throw up. We back to kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, I got that about me. I guess that was my nervousness. And it ended up being a real good show that night. You right. know what I'm saying? So. That was cool. I came back like the next week. Trash! <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta go throw up yeah, real quick. Yeah, but think you amazing. You come back and just be trash. But at least it was a small crowd then. It right. was a full crowd when I right. killed it. So, that was like... That's a wild one. Right? Damn. I never forget, you know, never forget. Was you, that your first time doing comedy? Or was that your first time no, it wasn't doing my it first out here? Out here. Gosh. You know what I'm saying? Like, for like a show show. Like, he had a little open mic, you know, and I would try to go to, but... He was like, I'm putting you on the show, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I come and it's packed out in the union, Damn. you know, like. Oh, oh it's shit. at the union too. The union yeah, be cracking union. too. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing too. You never forget how people treat you or who you meet, you know, like. Right. I won't even do it and do that energy tonight. But I met somebody and it was like the energy was just. And you'd be like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have met him because mm -hmm. I would have liked him more. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If mm -hmm. I never would have met him. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so, yes. So after that, after you did this show, you came out here, cracked with my car, you feeling good at this point. Yep. Did you just fall in love with it and just continue to just get whatever Hell you can get? Hell no, I did. What'd you do? Shit, <laughs> I did it like two more weeks and I wasn't that amazing. You know what I'm saying? So you was like, maybe this ain't for me. I too, actually did trash the following because I'm, I'm going <laughs> to do something different. Everywhere I'm going to come through and I'm going to whoop the whoop. And so I came through and it was so bad. I remember David Arnold roasted the fuck out of me because he was hosting. You know Damn. what I'm saying? So what, I mean, was this at the union too? Yep. Damn. So he went up there and let me have it. <laughs> And I just sat there and took it to the chest, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because I don't want to be the comedian that ran out, you know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. Even though I wanted to run out. Right, right. <laughs> so I never forget that. I still don't really fuck with him. He ain't even do nothing but his job. Right, right, right. You just like, nah, you ain't have to do me like that, dog. No. <laughs> nah. You was running the light roasting me, nigga. You ain't have to do me like that. <laughs> nah, it was cool. It was part of this shit. You right, know? right. The show. So it was like I did a couple more times and I was like, I, I came out here to do acting in a way. I didn't really want to do this shit. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to That's run exactly away from the right, calling right, and right. shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I ran away for a little while, moved back to Texas a while, but tried to do it a little bit in Texas. How was it out there? Because it's so different performing out there, especially where some people you know, versus out here it's complete strangers for the most part. Because you know, Which I'm out of cool. town too. Which is cool. I'd rather be in front of strangers. strangers. Yeah, yeah, right. And even going to Dallas, like the first time I did do some shit, I was like, okay, this is cool. I just go in here and nobody really know me. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And it was cool. And then next week I invite everybody out. <laughs> You feel like Rolling good? in my partner in the right. wheelchair and everything, nigga, in the small ass club. And what pressures do, y'all? Bomb. Bomb. Yeah. They put me up after a dude who opened for like Bernie Mac or some shit. I'm not even deep in this shit. I'm just thinking, when I was out there doing a little, I can come back here. Say, right. ain't it? Right. Ugly. Like, you know, these, those moments, no matter right. how many great moments you had, you never. Right. Like, boy, yeah. ate it. Right. And black Ugly. people, especially black people where we come from, they can be very judgmental. <laughs> like, oh, you a comedian. All right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, you gonna make me laugh? They'll say this little sleek shit like, all right, man, I better get my money's worth. I'll be like, all right, damn, dog. Like, I ain't, like, ain't even have to come. Like, like, practice? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, Nick. It's right, like, I'm ready. But, yeah, it's been some crazy, <laughs> crazy lows. <laughs> damn, damn. But some amazing highs, you now, know? Now, how long have you been in the game? How long have you been doing it? And see, I'm not going to be like all these people who like, I've been in the game 15 right. years. Right. No, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know I was on the stage, I don't count until I took it serious. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? I started gotcha. taking it serious in 2014, gotcha. April 2014. You know, gotcha. that's when I was like, okay, this really your calling. Right. You got to really do this, you right. know, and quit playing with yourself. Right. 
and the rest of these hoes. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Let like, them know what's up. You better get right. up and do your shit. Yeah, <laughs> right. so right. that's when I count it. People be like, no, you don't stay for that. Are you too comfortable to be like that? And, well, y'all call it what y'all want. Y'all be like, from the minute you ever step, <laughs> right. well, you trash. Right. And you just count years for right. nothing. To make know? it seem like they got that experience. Yeah. Right, right, right. I didn't know what I was doing. Right. I was lost. Sometimes right. I still don't know what I'm doing. Fact, same here. I mean, shit, coming up the show is like, damn, y'all about to start now? All right. The fuck am I going to talk about tonight? I'm going to get it together. But I think, I think those experiences teach us how to think on the spot, how to yeah. assess the environment. So we yeah. learning something. We get another notch on our belt after every show. Yeah. That's why I don't get out some comments just like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. No, nah, I'm good. Or how much? All right, I'm chill. It's like, man, you got to exercise as much as you can in front of different audiences because we got we constantly tailoring. Yes. You would think, like I said, you can think you're amazing because you're one set cute right. in front of this this certain audience. Right. Yeah. And then the next night, that same set. Right. 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 <laughs> you was just Beyonce. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Now you like Millie Vanilli. Boo! <laughs> Right, right. And I hate them comedians too that try to make it about the audience. Like, yeah, man, they tight tonight, man. No, they, it's not them. <laughs> it's never them. Right, right. You know? right. That's why I love this too, because right. you know, I respect everybody, whatever you do in life, but you know, I like that we we can't blame nobody. We up there by ourselves. Right. You can't be like, man, this dude didn't even pass me the joke. You know what I'm saying? I could have right. killed. You know, like you can't blame. <laughs> right. We on our own. So whether you win or lose, you know. You got to take it. Right. And I believe in taking it. Right. You know? And I don't even want to have to depend on nobody. Right. It bothers me. No, nah, comedy is the rawest <laughs> form of, you know, uh, you know, that interaction, that feedback that we love so much. That's why doing these virtual shows and all that shit ain't really working, man. So, obviously, 2020 been serving us just Tyson jabs all day. Just bow, 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 bow. I was one of the first ones that came out with a video saying it because I was sick of people asking me to do virtual shows. You know, yeah. I just had to put out a whole disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I'm not doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's stupid. Right. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Right. Like, y'all want to do your little sketches? Do your sketches. Right. right. Kurt, y'all want to sing songs? That sounds stupid too. You right. know what I'm saying? But y'all can do that. They do a virtual happy hours and shit. Man, right? say, the comedy is not that. Right. I can't just stand here. Right. And so I was just happy to have that one to, to get to do one, you know what, end of August. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Um, Where was that at? Kev on stage. Oh, yeah, he's doing the, yeah, uh, keep your distance the Tony Baker, comedy. yeah, shout yes. out to Tony Baker, Kev on stage. And it's a real crowd, it's and fire. it's outside, and they right. got, boy, them cameras amazing. I was glad I wasn't broke out around me, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> super HD, like, God damn. Right, right, right. But no, it was, um, it was just good to be back on stage. It had been like six months for me, damn. you know, and so... They up there ready for a million jokes, and I'm just like, oh, the stage. Stage feel good. Right. Damn the jokes. Let me enjoy <laughs> this shit. Let me enjoy Woo! this shit like for a little me. kid. Right. Like, you don't realize how much you miss something. Facts. So Facts. you don't have it. Yep. You know? That's a, that's a message she just dropped, though, too. You don't realize what you miss. Some nigga crying at the hospital now. You damn right, cuz. You don't miss what you have until you don't have it right now. And I was taking it for granted. I was one of the people that people asked me to do shit, and I'm like, man. It was getting dark early. I was going to bed early. You know what I'm saying? Right. Where did the show was, at? Right, right. I was sleeping through shows. I was turning it down. I was taking it for granted. If all this happened because of me, I apologize to everybody. Right, you right. know? Because... I will not take it for granted no more. Man, that's our place of like peace, our place of freedom. I yeah. feel so, you know, I feel like I can release, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm got my family shit going on throughout the day. I work during the day, still I'm in sales. Yep. So to be able to have my outlet like that, man, and to have it taken away from me, dog. I know, right? But oh. I feel like I had a nice setup for it because I got shot my special um, in January. Hey. And that was in Texas. Right. And so my whole family How was, was that there. too, man? I saw Ooh, you promoting it. Was it was a beautiful night. It was a beautiful Beautiful night, like we won, you wow. know. And and the city came out. Nice. And, you know, it was good Where'd to you have. do it? I did it at the Texas Theater. Oh shit! Okay. Yes, okay. and that's actually, you know, um, who got shot in Dallas? John F. Kennedy. Uh, I think so. Yeah, remember when he got shot? Yeah, yeah. The dude on who the shot ship. him. After he shot him, he went to the Texas Theater. Damn. He sat there and watched the movie and shit. Damn. Now, so now you in this motherfucker movie. making history. You, you know what I'm saying? They would have never imagined your ass being there doing like that back in the day, man. Historical ass. Went there and shot it, but I felt like that was a good um, setup. I thought the gear was finna go great because I'm right. like, okay, hey, we're gonna shoot the special, then we're gonna right. do this. But I feel like that was a good move. And so I, brought, I came out with that comedy album, nice. you know, and I feel like at least I had that moment to share with my family and friends because right. a couple of months later it was like, All right. shut it down. Keep your distance. 
Bitch can't even get a pedicure right now. <laughs> right. Saying, right. Going to a bitch house to get my nails done. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's a hard life. It's been tough, man. This pandemic been fucking with everybody, you know, different on different levels. I know me, I had anxiety for a minute. Yeah. When I did go back to Dallas to visit my mom, I'm down. This bitch like, do I have asthma? Shit. <laughs> 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 Am I overwhelmed? Can I taste my food? <laughs> yeah. Give me that shrimp. Give me you're that so shrimp. paranoid. Yeah. Right, right. It's like, ooh, a nigga got a sniffle. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me blow this shit. For real. And then my, my mama was, was paranoid too. So it's like, I can't even, like I only got the shit less than a handful of friends in the way. She's like, where you going? <laughs> yeah. Where you going, precious? When you coming back? <laughs> then you got me scared. I don't want to call my mama to die. Right. No, I know. Like, like it's the last time we yeah, gonna see her. Like, right. right. okay, well, precious came back and then we was <laughs> <laughs> We all got sick. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be the reason why. You about that <laughs> LA shit now. <laughs> And we just stay away from everybody. I'm annoyed right. now. Like, yep. And then it's like, I think everybody kind of forgot about it. I saw where recently <laughs> Mulatto was in a uh, text. Did you see V Live, the, the rapper Mulatto? Uh uh-uh. uh. She there. I'm talking about, they is in there. It's Turned packed. up. They Damn. like the video game. Like, I'm like, I mean, I'm happy for her, but right. uh. <laughs> right. Ain't we in a pandemic still? I think still. Right. You know we in a pandemic. Juliana didn't do the Emmys. Oh, yeah. Juliana got the COVID, y'all. Right. You know we love to see her little skinny white butt up there doing them interviews. Right. Shit, I love Juliana. And uh, somebody else too, Vivica. Vivica Fox, I heard, just got it. That's what I'm saying. People I, are still just getting it. Ain't like it's gone. Right. We, we easily forget that, man. I think it's just a mixture of, just like some white people don't understand racism because they can't personally relate to it. Yeah. A lot of people that haven't had COVID or someone close to connecting with them, they don't see it as real. So a lot of people just out here living their life and living free. Like, I don't care. I think it's all good. Yeah. I'm a little shallow, too. Like, I'm like, I'm not putting no mask over this lip shit I just put on. You know what I'm saying? I know he said the rules said when you come in, having a mask, you're going to take your temperature. Right. I'm not going to do it. Shit, <laughs> now. I took my chances leaving my place, too. Right. I had to come from the third floor. Like, right. You see somebody, you're like. <laughs> right. Stay away, motherfucker. Stay away. I don't know. You didn't got fly, so it's like, shit, I'm finna go and just be fly for the night. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my chance. Come on, immune. Come immune on. sister. Right, right, Come right. through for Nick, me. I'm at the house <laughs> drinking tea. I'm like getting ginger. I'm squeezing lemons in my shit. Like, who? I was doing all that at first. Man. Just inhaling the smoke from the ginger. From... Now, I done got relaxed. Like, you taking some medicine and you almost healed. Uh huh. <laughs> you like, I'm good <laughs> now. Throw <laughs> that right, back on the wings. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we have to remember to stick to the plan. Man, I'm just hoping that shit opens back up a lot. You know, we continue to move about forward. I know we got to be safe, but as long as we stay where we at now, I feel like I'm good. As long as we don't backpedal and have more of a lockdown. That first lockdown, I was a little nervous. And then all the protests was going on. They started boarding shit up. I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> so I'm coming lot. over here. Yeah, it lot. was a lot it to was take was it, especially lot. being from Louisiana and Texas. We know it can get a little wild down there. Angry white people in LA is way different than the angry white people in the South. Look at that. For real. <laughs> They're different animals. So I was glad to be in LA during all of this shit versus down South with that kind of in your face, blunt racism, flags up. I'm you so know. over it, you know. Yeah. And I'm so tired of, uh, you know, I'm tired of the, of the distractions, you know. Right. Yes, 12 million is a lot of money. Right. But at the same time, it's no price on somebody's life, food, right, you know? Right. And for y'all to be in wait this long and people done put a Oprah done bought billboards. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? The damn team didn't play. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? Literally stopping like people, everything. Yes. Right. Y'all done banging murals and did all this dumb dog. And y'all still not going to arrest him, right. no. He still right. get to go on vacation. He still get to go kick him. Right. But here go 12 mil. Right. Because that's what we think your, 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 life your child worth. life worth. Right. It's fucked up. But that's one of the, I think, uh, it's the red line and the silver line. I'm sorry, I'm a red line. What the fuck is a red line? I don't know. We can make up one. Though. We can make one. I'm going to put that on a shirt. Man. Fuck that. The red <laughs> line of the situation is, <laughs> is that there have been some, some steps forward in the right direction in terms of, man, I never thought I'd see the day. I was uh, telling my man before this, uh, all 50 states just about was out protesting in some way. So even though we still have a lot of work to do, I feel like, man, we've taken some some and leaps. Country, country, you know what I'm saying? You know, in the soccer teams and like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're making noise. Riding, WNBA, Black yeah. Lives Matter, every sport, every guy. I put the PlayStation on, Black yeah. Lives Matter. I was like, oh, shit, yes. where? And where? I'm not, yes, and it's good to feel, to feel that support and see that some people right. really do mess with us like that. Right. But at the end of the day, 
all this shugging and jiving and painting murals and taking down statues and whoop de whoop like I said before. Right. You know, we really just want some justice. Right. We really just want our 40 acres and a mule on these right. hoes. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Right. We having all these issues because we never got our fucking... <laughs> right, fucking mule, y'all told us. <laughs> Who told us about the mule? Everybody else done got that shit. We right. never got our... And it is a problem. Right. It's not okay. Right. And so y'all really feel like y'all had that power over us, and they do. You yeah, know, like, right. damn, they pulled us over because we got out the HOV lane. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. we crossed the double line. I told them, so Black Lives Matter. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why are we here? You're bothering us for that? <laughs> right. Like, I'm so sick of the world. Right. Fuck. It's exhausting, though. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, there are some things that's being turned over that are uncomfortable to go through. Yeah. And as much as we want to complain, I know I want to complain and, be, and have anxiety and be yeah. tripped out. I got to think about my dad and like how our parents and our grandparents had to live during that time too, man. So to now, and we got to think like we're making our parents and our grandparents and everybody that came before us proud because we out here risking our life. We out here putting it all on the line. We out here trying to move the ball forward, man. So we got to give ourselves more props and all of this shit Did you too. Protect? <clears throat> I was I, I pulled up a couple <laughs> You know, man, I mean, we were like, you know, yeah. we shit. Yeah. I, I can't give myself that many problems. You know? What I did do right. was steal out the beauty supply. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they was overcharging curling. me anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'm very proud to do that. I'm past the age of stealing, but I saw. You yeah, got you a couple of things, got you a couple of them curling eyes. Get a little loitering, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She got six of them. Tanya, remember that $50 I gave you? And Take proud that. of it because they are rude. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. your stuff is not as quality as it is today. LA. You got me out here in the vet. Man, forget these people, fool. Man, it's wild. Well, I presented bro. the opportunity. The power went out. Yep. <laughs> Say this whatever. It's whatever at this point. You know, but no, it is good. It's good to see so many people come together out of different nationalities and really support us and yeah. our movement, you know. Definitely. I, I can't act like I'm just, you know, but... Cause I'm like half hey, woke. Yeah, 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 definitely. I'm well, like, I'm glad to hear you drop your special. Yes. You got your podcast that's been popping. Yeah, I'm, I'm hella proud of you, man. But I gotta <laughs> know because you started acting and you initially came out here for acting. Do you want to be a, this comedic actor? Did you see yourself doing film, or are you like, you know what, these stages is home for me. I'll never give them up, or, or what? No, 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 <laughs> no. I, I do. I love the, you know, I love acting and I love. Um, and my dream always was to have my own show, like Martin. Nice. Bernie Mac. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So my show is precious, you know? Yeah. And so that's what I'm really manifesting. You just spoke it into with. existence. Just now, there it is. Bam. Yeah. Not to mention, I got some more shit to go with it, too. You know what I'm saying? But of like, course. yeah, I am. Um, I'm excited about it. I want it to last like The Simpsons and shit. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. And it's, it's like one of those shows that's really like that, where I would be playing different characters, but I got my core people, and my main thing is. Doing my podcast like I really do. Hell yeah. yeah. It's my real life story. Trying to date in your 30s, being fucked up. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's shit not wild. Working. It's just real life shit. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited to just to be able, just to be blessed enough to do what I love to do. You know? Word. Even though I talk shit and don't be wanting to get up and get ready for shit. It's like, bitch, you get to just go talk shit. Right. Like, go out there and what do are your you thing. Complaining about? Right. Because it's a blessing. Because it really I mean, is. to be able to do what comes the most natural for you. Mm -hmm. Every day and to get paid and get paid well for it. Like, yeah. man, that's what we're on our way to, man. We gotta accept yeah. that, embrace that, but also understand what comes with that, that responsibility. It is a job. I do have to water. I do gotta do some stuff I don't feel like doing all the time. Yeah, so that's do. the that's the wokeness, man. It is. Um But you said dating though. You uh got here dating in these. Well, I'm saying uh. that's what this stuff is about. That's what yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> I can only imagine what dating is like during COVID and this quarantine. It's already scary to mess with somebody. Oh my so God. to I did try to. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if people like expect me to be the entertaining one because I'm an entertainer. Mm. But I, what I need you to know, that <laughs> that's what I do. So right. I need you to entertain me. Right. When we go out. And I don't want this <laughs> shit. Mate, entertain me. It ain't got to be a full blown show, but don't don't sit here and, and goddamn. Expect everything. You just yes. do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just Man, be quiet. It's like an interview and we just talking about generic ass shit. It's boring. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I heard dating in LA was whack though. I got a whole bunch of females, you know what I'm saying, friends and all that. They just like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot out here. I don't even know if I know how to date. I just I was so cool with everybody. You right. know, I'm just, I'm just being cool and going out and 
eating. And <laughs> See, you, you be going out to out to eat and stuff, and don't just be like, no one ain't going there. We be like, yeah, we can go eat. No, no, I don't do that because uh, I feed myself all the time. I, I smoke weed. Yeah, you got you to know, eat. You know, food is at the bottom of the chain. You trying to impress me? You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I feed myself. <laughs> like you got to come with something more, sir. You come with a mural of me. God damn it! You gonna impress me right, <laughs> because. Right. Shit, gotcha. they be like, I fed her. I feed me every day. <laughs> and by weed. And right. by bills. Right. Come with something else. Shit. Right. So, so is would you say you like these? LA kind of vibes out here, or you still like them Texas dudes when you go down and stop and somebody come with the booty fade in the back, them niggas come with the booty, <laughs> with their booty. <laughs> I don't mind a booty or a shag. Uh, you right, know what I'm you already know how they do. But um, I think I just like, I just like good guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like real men, and it's so hard to come across them now. I feel like so many are trying to be in the industry or in the industry, so they got a million selfies and they got right. their makeup done and right. they want to be the star, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I do, I wouldn't mind like a nice country ass, go catch the fish, cook it ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Country dude coming in. So he ain't got to be in the industry. He can have his own job. No, right he can yeah. be, no, don't be in. you Shit. rather him not be in the industry. I mean, well, if you are, you are. Right. <laughs> like what you like, but no, I wouldn't mind. A nice country dude, but then I like the aggressive East Coast dudes too. Yeah. You know, like from Philly, New York. Yeah, New like, York I like dudes that aggressive strong. talk too. Like, damn. That's like, <laughs> you want me to do that's what? Your regular Rico? talk? Okay, yeah. cool. I don't know. So I think you just like what you like, but yeah. I do like to be catered to though. I don't care how I act. Like, if you get in there, make me a bootleg bo a bologna sandwich, nigga, fried up with the slits. <laughs> right. I will feel like that's special. special. <laughs> yes, right, right, you right, know, right. like, but you gotta do something. Cause right. goddamn it. Sitting back I'm, one, you yeah. do everything, ain't gonna work. I'm still a female. I'm right. still sensitive. I need to be catered to. Right. Shit. All right, fellas, y'all heard it, man. You better cater, open that I'm door. Like, who the fuck I think I am? Do so. <laughs> right. You, you a boss Shit. as a queen. So that's I feel like, I feel. I feel like, but again, I feel like that's good, though. I feel like, and sometimes me and my wife get into it about this all the time, but I feel like some, a lot of women have lowered those standards so much to where you ain't got to do all that catering now. Yeah. And that's why a lot of dudes, I feel like, have gotten lazy because it's like, man, what you talking about? I ain't got to do a goddamn. I got yeah. my DMs on full. Yeah. So and they it's like, like, they the prize. And I'm not saying that y'all not. Like, a good man yeah. need to be catered to. Like, Facts. you take care of your family. You got a beautiful wife, beautiful you know daughter. Saying? Like, yeah, you take care of her, she take care of you. You know, it should be even. But like, right. when you trying to win, then you need to be the caterer. <laughs> right. Come in here with some. She. That's what's up. I don't know. Dope. Don't give me the preacher. See, he done gave me this good ass whiskey, y'all. I don't know. It's good. This the is butter. so good. I requested Hennessy. He done gave me some peanut, peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. This is so good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting there sweating, trying to easily wet my suit. Just pat it, pat it. It's you know, I should have put no grease on my head, fool. And then I ain't want my head to look dry. God damn. Oh, no, you good, man. You good, man. You, you been he told you own. good. Dudes don't give a fuck. I'm actually sweating <laughs> like a still goddamn slave. Right. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about I that. I feel like I'm filming on the time to kill. You sitting there with the shit. I'm all the way good. Good. Damn. Dope. 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 But you know what? I think this is really dope. And I think what you doing is really dope. I was watching you out in New York. Oh, yeah. I was thinking you was from out there for the longest. Nah, and then I, I saw it. Yeah. yeah. So you done made it everywhere. If you can make it in New York and Cali. Yeah. And you got your family out here? I would have abandoned my family. <laughs> But I a lot of people have. My kids. Fuck them kids. I didn't realize that was a thing to do till I got to LA. I was like, oh yeah, man, my daughter back out, and you know, and I was like, oh shit, oh yeah, the wife, she out here in Florida. I was like, oh damn, so you, you out here, they just let you go like this? Yeah, you moved your house. Yeah, it's don't do that. it ain't easy. Yeah, it ain't easy. Not. but that's why I work during the day too. You know, I've been in the car business a, a long time, but it's it's always hard and a struggle for me to find that balance between investing as much as I want to in this, but also making sure we we have consistency at home, yeah. and I can make sure my daughter's straight, and we ain't got it because we we. Still had tight times. Yeah. So yeah, it's important to me to be able to have that balance to make sure they have good. you found that balance, you think? We still <laughs> finding that balance. I mean, I think marriage is something that's you constantly fine-tuning and chipping away at. Mm -hmm. And you might have a good week, may post a cute picture on the gram, but it don't mean shit the next day. <laughs> you gotta wake up and start over and try it again and listen and be attentive. And all right, baby, damn, that made you mad. I was just I was just telling the truth. Oh, it still don't say that next yeah. time. Okay, yeah. baby, no problem. My yeah. bad. You want some grits? Uh, <laughs> so. I admire that though, because you know what? I always felt like it's not a balance. I be feeling like you got to choose one. That's why I was like, yeah. I'm getting rid of these kids. Nigga. <laughs> like, fuck them kids. Yeah. Nigga, fuck you. Like, I got to go chase my dream. I Facts. can't. Because if I do this, then I'm going to be mad at this. If I do that. And so I was like, I was just a selfish bitch who just chose me. <laughs> got to choose. But at the end of the day. <laughs> That's what it is. 
it, it, it depends on your yeah. situation. Because it's, it, it could hinder you more if you come down here with the wrong person. Yeah. And then they holding you back. You They jealous. They, where you going? Yeah. Now you can't focus. Now you can't create. Because we got to be out. Exactly. You know? yeah. And then you don't want no plus one everywhere you go. Oh, that's a lot out here. I get mad if you just show up at my show. Like, they think they doing some cute shit. Just uh -huh. coming. Don't just be seeing my flyer <laughs> and showing you this is work. Okay? Right. Showing your ass up to my show. Like, we just get one to drink. No. Right. I'm working. Right. Jeez. Who told you to come in? You ain't text me before you came or nothing. <laughs> I, could, I could imagine that. I can only hey, imagine. Wow, bitch. I'm kind of seeing. I might be a little bitch. Maybe. You might be. That's a little rude. He know trying, yourself, know your trying word. to be romantic. You know He's trying to be smooth. Hey, what's up? I just thought I'd you know, come show you some Seems support. Seems stockish. <laughs> oh, see that? That's the thing. Though. I feel like dating now, women feel like, oh, he thirsty. No. He coming with the thirst. He doing too much. If you're not a comedy fan, fool, and you just see a flyer and you showing up. He's a precious fan. It's like, nah, See that? Bro. See that? <laughs> Fellas, I'm looking out for us tonight, though. I'm looking out for us, see? Because that's what's crazy, too. Like, we can't have too much drama in comedy because we tell people <laughs> Where we at? Like, right. boom! I'm gonna be right. here on this day. Boom! Come right. through. Meet me here. Don't meet right. me here. Right, <laughs> like it's, right, right. It's, kinda it's a small crazy. community. It's a small community. It's like high school. It is. It is with the politics and the cliques and the groups and the. Oh, I'm so glad I have elevated now that I'm understanding <laughs> right. drama and right. rule. You know, right. I've learned to just and it seemed like you just being selfish, but if you concentrate on your shit, <laughs> right. you really don't have time to get in this shit. Right. But the shit right there. Yep. But you can. Stay right here. Right. Balance. <laughs> but that's what I feel like family, having family here has helped me do. It's because I ain't got time to be wearing what hey man. Mm -hmm. I, I gravitate to who I gravitate to. If I got any good energy with you, we can link, we can build, da, 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 whatever. But I got so much going on at home and work and trying to pay these damn bills, this rent, these parking tickets. You know what I'm saying? Is <laughs> that time again? Man. Do you know, say I'm boy, I'm a boy, say. Man, mm -hmm. it's crazy, bro. It rolls around fast. Even my Wi-Fi, it was $49.99 for the year. Then I yeah. just went up to $65.99. I said, they oh, know. even they want to fuck me without a dick. They you know? know. Without it, No Vaseline, they call it. But we got to have it. We got to do these Zoom calls. Nigga, during this, pan <laughs> during this pandemic, this internet is all we got. Like, hey, Spectrum, don't be playing with me, man. You better get this shit to speed up. My internet went out. <laughs> I had like three back-to-back -back shows to do. I am up, ready to go. No Damn. internet service. Luckily, my friends stay right in the corner, so I'm over there. And now the people on the Zoom like, well, are you on your laptop? I'm like, no, I'm on the phone. They're like, well, <laughs> well why are you not? Because right. the internet ain't working. Right. I had to come over here. I got a bunch of shit to do. <laughs> Say, let's right. just get some shit done. <laughs> right. The devil is busy today. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Whatever they say. That's crazy, dog. But it's fun. Got you, man. Well, I'm glad that you came through, man. I appreciate you sharing the story, man. But before we get out of here for the day, please let me know what else we can look out for, what's in the works, and uh, where people can get in touch with you at. Let me see. What's in the works? All this shit I see. You know what I'm saying? Right. The podcast is, for sure. Podcast on these hoes. On these hoes. Every Thursday. That is on All Deaf YouTube, Spotify, Apple, everything you can listen to. Hell yeah. On these hoes. That's with me and Kamira White. Produced by Cynthia Luciette. Oh, so we snap. have a great time on there. And then nice. my comedy album, hey. What Happened to Precious? Because you're like, dang, her name Precious. She used to be so cool and innocent. Right. What happened? Shit. Yeah. That's only on iTunes. So make sure y'all cop that. Listen to me talk a little shit. Um, and then look out for my sitcom, Precious. Coming soon. I hey, know. she just put it out there <laughs> for y'all last. So you know what to look out for, man. But thank you for having me. Keep doing your shit. Have another baby or two because you know God put us here to be fruitful and multiply if you happy. Oh shit. Y'all be fruitful on that, on that, <laughs> on my cash app when I do have that baby, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna need some money on them diapers, man. Yo, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do Tell with Laugh After Dark. I've been your host, Charlie Wilson TV. We out this bitch. Look, look at y'all out here tuning in. Okay. Okay. No, hey. Thank you for tuning in. You make sure you continue to tune in. Tell your friends, your baby mama, your baby. I, 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 tell him too. Make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe, support. All things do tell. I've been your host, Charlie Wilson. I'm here with Laugh After Dark, baby. You know how we do it.